A 4,000 game collection is being dropped off very, very soon. It's a five figure deal. Let's see what we get. Al Pal, we have a bunch of games coming in and here you are dirtying up the table with stuff. Can you at least tell me what you got? Well, actually, this is your fault. This is some stuff <laughs> I did get some buy list stuff. You're right, you're you right. You bought some buy list stuff. This is another buy list thing from someone. Nice. Um, we'll some... hold off on that. Okay. This, not my best purchase. Um, <laughs> I'm very confused by this. Is it all just Japanese I'm just kidding. titles? Tyler just left a note and said, I made a stupid purchase a couple years ago. Here you go, use them. <laughs> well, thank so, you, Tyler. He didn't leave any contact information, or else I would love to contact him Can and we... say, "Gee, thanks." I know you're I could right. look up his name and email maybe, and see maybe if he's let's ever look emailed, up his. But... Let's look up his uh, return address and like send him something. I don't know. That's a good idea. Yeah. So, thank you. There's that. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> this is a is a small collection buy, which it's a really big bummer because yesterday we did a Sega auction. Oh, you're right. That was one of this is. This is like really nice condition, like oh my god! This is sealed. I can see that. And like, like Booger Man, like super nice condition, and like World Heroes sealed, which for Genesis seal, Sega seals just suck. like this is actually decent. Like here's like a what what a normal, like ripped on the back, like that's just mm -hmm. normal. That looks that's pretty good. That's sealed. Like sealing stuff with hang tabs is like that's sealed. Mm -hmm. and that's in pretty nice condition. So it's like, it's a bummer. Lost Vikings. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and then we got one more right here. I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know if, uh, well, this is probably the coolest part. It is games. At the end of the day, it is games. It's definitely not buy list. I think all this is on the buy list. Maybe it is buy list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, cool. Jason, then there's one final package. I yes. think this one is from our friend, Ken, who lives Super in the UK. KMX. Yes. Al Pal, I don't know what's in here, but you might want to be here just in case it's beans again. I sure <laughs> hope there's beans. As long as there's toast included. Oh. Ooh, Al Pal, you do want to be over here. It says Al. It says it's label Al. It says your name. Lord of the Rings. This. I knew this was coming. Oh, what you did? Is that? I did. What he, is told, he told me he had it. It's like a sealed, like, old cassette. Whoa. That is so cool. It's like yeah, an audio like a golden book. It's kind of sealed, but... Yeah. That it's is like a super. I think it's from like the 80s or something like that. That's really cool. Oh, dang, it has the map in Middle Earth. Oh my gosh. That's sweet. Well, Ken, wow. And this is just out of the goodness of his own heart. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Sky Guy, can I get. What does this hat say? In it, bro. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I uh, message Ken. Every, every morning I say, oi, bro, and then tell him what he needs to know. Now, what exactly is the dictionary definition of in it? Let us know in the comments. It's Tommy, isn't it? Yeah. It's his last name. <laughs> <laughs> the collection has arrived, and it's like a lot more than I was thinking. I don't know why I wasn't thinking, but 4,000 games is a lot. So Yeah. That's like a trailer and a full car. <laughs> so, oh. yeah, we got to get like golf car, every, all the cars, and unload it. And I guess there's stuff that he brought that wasn't part of the original deal, too, that maybe we can work out in person. So, Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Evil Come on, Blues Brothers, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>
Those ones are ones that we cannot pay a high percentage for because a game that's worth $8 in price charting usually sells for $8 free shipping on eBay. You ship it for five and then you lose fees and you're netting like a dollar or two on that. That's why game that stores pay like 10 cents for that kind of stuff. Right. So that stuff is in here. But the cool thing, just on a quick look, is that everything, like the N64 stuff, is all in these cases. Man. And these are super clean. Thanks, calling me. Anyways, there's a lot of stuff here, and we gotta figure out like where to go from here. We gotta talk about what we actually got. Guys, I still don't even really know very much. Alpal did the reviewing of the price charting. I just said, it all looks good. Yes, okay, looks good. And that's, that's where we're at now. So let's just do like a quick glance at some of the things. I do know what I got for the extras. Like this bin is just full of like Random controllers, memory cards, goods like there's dozens of memory cards in there. There's a Waybird, there's... I mean, those controllers the, the are blue, pretty cool. The blue Xbox controller, the, the Game Boy printer, the Zapper, the Bongos, the... This is like... Like, new open box, look at that. PS1 wow. controller, and like a Japanese box, which is really cool. And then, you know, first party M64 controllers, all sorts of stuff. I think I paid a couple hundred bucks for that, but... It should be worth four or five hundred. So, so if we don't get to everything in this video, like, what should we do? Well, I think we should doc kind of document this, the process of like the reality. Again, the reality of a collection that seems like is a home run, but like, is it actually? Um, mm -hmm. Will it actually pan out? And if can we actually have it pan out in a week's time? So my thought is maybe we should make videos every day. Uh, next week or at least film videos every day next week and like try to get this thing this entire thing sold in a week Okay, which would be Crazy, um, but I would want to mix in like whatnot in Amazon So either it's sent off to a the Amazon warehouse or we sell it on whatnot and just try to like maximize in some areas move really quickly in other areas and uh, We can definitely bring you guys along for the strategy of that journey Maybe um, we'll get creative and do something wacky. What's uh, what are these? That's Sega Genesis stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I, I like that. That Jaguar box, I paid 10 bucks for that, right? Like, it's, it's in rough condition, but a tough box to find. He was cool with that. And Television Bundle, I paid um, 40 bucks. So it's got a box system in there, the INT V5. So the sure. INT 5. <laughs> yeah, the Intellivision 5 or whatever. I paid 30 bucks for this box, I think, 35. And it's got, like, just a bunch of demo CDs. It's got a Sega, I think this is Saturn. Pursuer, like this thing, I don't even really know what that is. That's not great. You can blow up the Death Star. That's kind of cool. While you're on the toilet. I paid 30 bucks, so I feel like that's... Oh, it's got a Waybird without receiver, so... Oh. I mean, that right okay. there, it might be close to money back. The dongle is the most expensive part. This box was awesome. Mm. So this I paid 240 for. There's, I think, five handhelds, and that's like a fully reshelled, recapped, I think it's backlit... It's like a game gear and like he did all the work himself. That's Last pretty much every it. mod you can do. Yeah, like he did, he did all the things and that is a brutal process to do those. We don't do those ourselves, so it's nice when you get one like that. Mm -hmm. And it's got the blue shell, which is cool. That's such a cool Game Boy Pocket. And that, that's backlit as well, I think. Um, <clears throat> I forget what he said, or it's like a Japanese It might just Japanese, be a new shell. It was Japanese like a Japanese type shell. shell. The blue PSP, really tough to find. That's and in again, good shape. It's, it's really clean. He said all these work. And this is a guy that I bought from at garage sales in the past. That's how we met each other. <clears throat> really nice guy. I bought from at garage sales about seven years in a row. And finally, he was like, I'm looking to just clear house, clear my collection. And that's what he did. So like, and I've, I've bought stuff where he says it's working or he says it's not working. And he's honest at the garage sale. So I trust it when he say everything works, which is nice. Nice to have do a deal with somebody I've done a lot with. DS Lite, Red was in there. And again, this whole box 240, and then there's like 50 or so PSP UMD videos. So I was like, dude, we can watch so many movies on that PSP now. <laughs> right. The 2DS right there, really clean. You, you just Pretty gotta love it. Box. it. That's a good, it's a good box. I love handheld stuff. This box I also paid 244. And I actually feel like that was a pretty stellar deal. I just, on the bigger consoles and stuff, I want to get them for a little bit less because they take so much processing time to get them. Yeah. Like, to get them ready to go, but we got three custom 360s, including the Gears of War, the R2-D2. There's no hard drive in the Gears one, which is a bummer. And then the Halo. 
<clears throat> and I don't have the matching controllers with those. Two, two of them do, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah, so the Archer D2 does not, but those two do, and they're in great condition. Did they condition. come with two controllers originally in the bundle? The Gears one may have. And, okay. And we have two. For Halo 4? I did not even oh. realize that. I think okay. the Gears one did. Maybe Halo did. I don't remember. Okay. I think they came with three 20 gigabyte hard drives, and only one of them has that. Okay. So that part's like a bit of a bummer. Mm -hmm. But this, the guitars, we like never buy these, and I told them I don't even really want them. I can make you an offer, and I bought these <clears throat> for... It ended up being like 150, which this is a PS4 rock band guitar. And that honestly might be close to the money back, which is crazy. But if you see any rock band four stuff, that's like almost always a home run. So definitely keep your eyes out for that. All these have the dongly dues, which is nice. Or the receivers, whatever you want to call them. Um, <clears throat> guitar Hero Live have these tiny little dongles. And then this one also has the dongle. So like 140 bucks, there's probably four or 500 bucks in value. It's just, we gotta get this sent off because I don't want these sitting around. So now let's dive into a few of the boxes of the main deal again, 11,000 spent. So definitely a big, big deal. I mean, that's legit. N64 stuff right on top in cases. Oh. NES stuff. Okay. Imagine the diamond. Yeah, they look pretty clean, man. Baseball stars is there we go. Friday the thirteenth. Just the your Ghosts and Goblins, Gremlins too, yeah. What is Dino Link? That's a random decent cool one. Got the manual with it, Double Dragon 2. I'm not seeing any like absolutely crazy titles. I think he might have separated some of the best stuff in a certain box or something. Watch out. There you go. Let's see. Lighter orange. Orange. I always look for white bullets. That means it's like early print. Especially on the box. That's a, it's a really tough to find. That's just a cool one. Yeah. You kind of look sword. like that guy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <clears throat> it's like Elfell's hair, but my body. Yes. Yeah. So that's a cool box. I like that. But this is the part of the collection I don't like as much. Well, that's actually some pretty good stuff. There's in some here, good. Th <laughs> like, all right. All right. Like this whole section is actually pretty decent. Yeah, he's got some in like some sealed stuff in collector's cases. <gasps> Alien isolation. That's cool. And it's sealed. Yeah, Silent Hill Homecoming. The sealed. new Alien movie just came out recently as well. So true. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then this is just like a lot of eh, but there's some okay stuff like Sly Cooper. And like know, Resonance of Fate. There's boxes and bins of stuff like this, so that is why we're kind it's of so in that. Much. Four thousand games is a lot of games. Yeah. And I don't want these just sitting in, around on shelves. What, forever. one standard tub we can hold maybe 200 games? Is that what we figured out? Not even out? that Not much, even? yeah, 150 maybe. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Or maybe so, it's in a medium box. You can fit 200, like standard yeah, media cases. Yeah, like a 18 by 18 by 16 box. Um, yeah, so there's Saturn stuff. There you go, Street Fighter. SNES stuff, Secret of Mana. There we go. This is a good little bin. Scott, that's decent for Saturn. Road Rash. Idiots. There's, there you go, Final Fantasy III. They all have collector's cases. Oof. Don't love, don't love disc-only low-end PS1 sports games. Yeah, at least they have the manuals, some of them. I mean, this there is There we go, Space Jam. Yes. Saturn. That might actually, actually be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's decent for Saturn, at least. Tetris Attack. Spider-Man, I mean, this is... And then there's Dreamcast, but you got, like, Evil Dead is in there. Like, that's a good one. So when we get in a collection like this, organization becomes very big very quick. Yes, it is overwhelming right we now. already don't have a lot of room. Correct. And, you know, I like being restricted to the size that we can operate from because that makes us sell things quicker. So a few things are going through my mind, like how can we very quickly sell five bins worth of this stuff early next week? Well... I mean, whatnot is definitely a good way to do that. And my mind goes to like, okay, Sega Genesis, great for that. People have been into that. We did a Sega show yesterday. People loved it. Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, all that stuff. People have been asking for it like crazy. Super Nintendo, a lot of that is good, just great. Everybody likes Super Nintendo. Look at that, Super Mario Kart, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Doom, just great stuff. Same with the N64 stuff with collector's cases. That's collector ready. Mm -hmm. And like whatnot is where a lot of our collectors are. 
Um, and that's where we want to sell the collectible type stuff like that. Okay, now say we didn't have whatnot. You've got this collection, you're, you're operating out of the basement still. Yeah. And it's just you full time, maybe even part time. How do you tackle something like this? Well, I think, I think this would be a great situation, especially if inventory is hard to get because this is, this would be one that I would maximize by doing a lot of Amazon, which you can do Amazon. Um, uh, even if you're just starting out, there's some things you can sell right out the get go, but you start getting unlocked, ungated on things as you go. But then eBay, like a lot of this stuff is great for eBay. What I would do, okay, you got five low end Sega sports games. That's, I wouldn't list those individually. I do them in a lot of you know, NBA games or whatever, and listen for a couple bucks a piece, but then you have a $30 sale that happens for five games instead of, you know, five, five dollar sales. Or well, not whatever. to mention your time is valuable. So if you Correct. spend a ton of time just prioritizing number of listings, you'll yep. probably lose out in the long run. But this would be a great way to like, to, to do an eBay challenge, to do daily listings, to make sure you're hitting that limit. And I would also suggest, you know, if cash flow's a factor, which it always is a factor, um, starting with the best stuff first. So I don't know where like our best stuff is. You got just, I mean, it's just Ooh. all things 360. I don't. And this is like, a lot of this stuff though, great for Amazon, right? Yeah, like. So 360 is pretty hot right now. Yeah. Not that this bin excites me, but. You know, Fallout, Fallout could be Fallout probably decent. selling on Amazon. Deadpool, good time for that one. We'll have to like swap cases and stuff. That disc is super clean. I, I hope that a lot of the discs are clean so that reduces our processing time. So here's the other thing that I'm going through in my head. Say we have a, you know, a fallout. Maybe we net $4 after all fees and everything on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Is it worth just selling on whatnot and maybe getting $5 for? Right, so, yeah, or two dollars yeah um, but quicker <laughs> my, part of my thought goes to like it's it's that bundle model that i would do on ebay if i wasn't selling on whatnot but with whatnot yeah like just do a medium flat rate worth of what 15 games just put them together start them at a buck a piece but maybe we get two dollars a piece for games like that in lots and you know with, with the way that we bought this it leaves room for stuff like that to happen, right? So we can just quickly move the lower end stuff or, you know, whatever it might be. And then stuff like this, this is a cool box. Mm -hmm. And like with these cases, I think these will be a lot of fun. You got Smash Bros Especially right Especially like if you were to just buy and order that case, I mean, how much does that cost? Probably eight bucks, 10 bucks. And I mean, you, again, not that we're gonna get that for it, but. Right, but the, yeah, these, and the color on these is pretty nice. They got yeah. a really nice gloss to them. There's more 360 games oh, on he, here. He's like sprinkling it in. It's I know. not just all in. Oh, that, okay. oh, wait okay. a minute. It is mostly in. Dang. All okay. right. Okay, never mind. We stand corrected. Well, it, then it goes wait. back to 360. I don't understand. Wait a minute. Please, please. Turok 3? Yeah, that's a, that's a decently uncommon one. Looks like there's more. Yeah, it goes all the way down. Gex 3, Cruising Exotica. Wow, Rocksmith. So this is just 360 and N64 mix. You can tell he just had to get this stuff packed and this was the best way to the do road. it. And he did an excellent job. The logistics are strong. So if we get asked a lot, how do I buy this stuff from you guys? Because by the time you see it, for the most part, it's sold. So make sure you text whatnot to our number, 269-390-8555. So we'll have that down below. But yeah, you'll get notified. So because we're, we're doing a lot more themed auctions. Like I can already see we'll have an N64 auction. We'll have a SNES auction. We'll have a Sega auction. So like whatever you're interested in, you know, you can get that uh, text. You'll see the title and know whether or not you want to join the show or not, which is, we get it, you know, join for the stuff you want to buy. Um, but that's where my head's going, man. We, we got to find like, <gasps> oh, yes, yeah. GameCube, like GameCube auction would definitely be a good one. And again, that GameCube sells great anywhere. That's cool. This thing looks like it might be worth a couple hundred bucks. PS2 slim screen. Huh. I forgot to show these. Bunch of handhelds. Oh. I think I paid a couple hundred bucks for that extra. There is a 101 SP in there. Nice. Which is the brighter screen for us to know. GameCube Glory. I can't get it. It's there forever, but there's GameCube. Slide it out. I want to know what kind of GameCube. The did, people want to know. Did we get any good GameCube? My guess is it's going to be mid tier, but still GameCube. Like Shark Tale. 18 wheeler. Yep. This looks like Zelda. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
cars. Yeah, baby. Dang, the disc is in great condition. Let's see how this one looks. Great condition. Wow. Oh man, I feel like that. That's gonna make our job a lot okay. easier. Okay. It's just a good mix. It's everything. They're actually pretty clean. Dude, these look great. Great condition again. That that's like always. He got know, this man. from a collector, right? This was his collection. Okay. This was all his. And he said some of the stuff he actually bought from us on whatnot. So <laughs> we would hope that that stuff is in great condition. Looks like we got some. So there's some low-end sports games. But Mario Party 5 disc only. Just okay. chilling. I'm, I'm into it, man. I am definitely into the GameCube. I kind of like the uh, the idea of challenging ourselves to see how quickly we can actually get through this entire Clear collection. Around an entire so, table of stuff. Like, yeah, and this is... Insane. Yeah. Elpel needs more boxes. He's selling on whatnot right now. So what you need to do is subscribe because this is going to be a very interesting series. And actually throughout this little mini series, we're going to be using a ton of XYAB stuff. And guys, they're, they're top notch. They've, they have so many things for video game to video game sellers, uh, businesses. So if you're a business that has over 400 lifetime sales, they want to work with you. We work with them all the time. I just got in some stuff. These PS4 cases, man, these are replacement cases. So nice to have replacement cases. We always get asked where where to get these. Yep, so the PS4 ones, X, Y, A, B, and they actually just added Wii cases, PS2, Switch. Um, so they have really nice Switch replacement cases. And they're they're cheap, man. They're cheap, mm -hmm. the quality is great. This is a lot better, because I think it's like, gosh, I can't remember the exact pricing. You'll see it once you get approved on X, Y, A, B. Replacing your case instead of taking time to clean it or de-sticker or, you know, a lot of times you just get a case that sounds like that has tons of gashes. Well, if you put a fresh case on it, you're gonna get more for that game additionally than the cost of the case, considerably more. So basically XYB is the best way to maximize your video game sales. And if you're selling video games and you're still not using them, guys, you're crazy. When I found out about it and I figured out that I wasn't using them for years before, I was pretty upset. I watched that happen in real time. I was like, why didn't I? <laughs> I had a couple people that told me and I, and I should have got on it sooner, uh, but the day that I, that I put my first order in, saw the quality, saw the, the quickness of shipping and everything, I was very, very relieved and excited. I mean, just everything. Like, you'll just see, we have all of these replacement battery covers, chargers, cables, anything that we need for everything we can get from XYAB. So again, if you're a business, please use our link, $50 off your first order of 100 or more. That will help support this channel. It will help our partnership to continue, and we want to work with them forever because they're wonderful. But thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you next week. Peace.